Let me smurf you the story of the vile leaf. A dreadful adventure, one that's beyond belief. I smurfed this little poem to tell you the tale, with pictures I smurfed for added detail. Safe in their village, the place where they dwell. You'll find all the Smurfs who I'm sure you know well. There is Papa Smurf, our beloved leader. And the lovely Smurfette, you'll find no one sweeter. Handy, greedy, jokey to name but a few. It would take hours to name all the Smurfs coloured blue. But far from the village where none dare to roam, lies a ramshackle hovel that the neighbour calls home. For he is a sorcerer, draped in black head to toe. He lives there alone with his cats, don't you know? Dressed in gaudy red boots, they look nasty and vile. According to Taylor, he has no sense of style. I speak of Gargamel, but that is no surprise. I'd smurf him on the nose if, if it weren't for my size. He has an obsession, his one and only thought. He wants to smurf the Smurfs for a stone of some sort. This time he has smurfed from a book of despair, a long lost formula to help him grow pears? Uh, no, not pears. Um, wait. Wait a minute. Um, that makes a mythical plant grow poisonous and dangerous. Ah, yes, that's it. And so he has smurfed using an ancient text. This most dangerous plant. And here's what happened next. Papa Smurf is distressed. Something has gone awry. Smurfs have gone missing. And we must find out why.